बिटवीन येस्टरडेज अपडेट एंड टूडेज अपडेट यू एस हैज़ रिड्यूज द इंटरेस्ट रेट्स बाई पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट और ट्वेंटी फाइव बेसिस पॉइंट्स बैंक ऑफ इंग्लैंड हैज़ डन द सेम एंड चाइना हैज़ रिवील्ड अ वन पॉइंट फोर ट्रिलियन डॉलर प्लान टू बेल आउट सेट इंडस्ट्री वी आर नो लॉन्गर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिलियंस नाउ इंडिया हैज टू चॉइसिस टू डू समथिंग अबाउट इट टू नॉट डू समथिंग अबाउट इट दैट विल डिसाइड वेयर स्टॉक मार्केट्स हैड वेयर एफ आई आईज हैड टू अ वेरी लार्ज एक्सटेंट otherwise we are going behind 2 years from the other countries which are doing everything they can right now and us will unleash lot of new stuff as soon as mr trump goes to office day 1 now i keep studying macro data and today i figured out something about palm oil and i went back in history 2 years back we had the worst inflation hit in the country the things that went up at that time in 2022 i'm talking about palm oil they never came back palm oil has come back significantly in price but the prices never reduced in the country for the commodities or the products that consume that palm oil we'll talk about the palm oil story today because palm oil is boiling yet again there is a lot of data today in graphs the reason why this boil is happening I'll talk specifically about Adani Wilmer because palm oil the biggest importer in the country is Adani Wilmer and the impact on the industry and while I typically don't like stocks which have low or reducing FIDI holding this one I like because the public holding is just 11% half of this is Adani half of this is Wilmer Wilmer International so if there is big buying then there is not much float around now the graph may suggest today was a better day than yesterday however at least i feel that today was worse than yesterday today the best performer was infosys that was trying to take nifty up by 24% but reliance alone was enough 64% downward pull just from reliance overall infi mnm hindustan unilever hdfc and titan they were trying to take nifty up Asian Paints, Trent, ICICI Bank, SBI, and Reliance—they were pulling Nifty down. Reliance was at the same position yesterday also. Nifty Next Fifty looked more or less same as yesterday. At the top, we had Siemens, Torrent Pharma, LTI, Mindtree, United Spirits, and ABB. But the tail was long. Forty-three stocks down. Look at the size of these pillars. Macrotech, Mother Sansumi, IRFC, InfoEdge, and Gale—they were dragging Next Fifty down most. the tail more or less looks like yesterday the profit zone also looks more or less same now some of you might wonder why this is not changing a lot this is the score that drives the graph which is appearing here see diversified industrial retail the score relative in the last few days is 67% right now excel crashed and i lost seventh data the data for diversified retail right now is 98% minus coal is minus 90% this is real time data gets updated daily the weightage of latest date is 1 then 0.95 0.9 and so on this keeps on reducing by 0.5 what that means is the stocks which are up today they carry more weight in this overall calculation that's the uptrend and the stocks which are down today a lot for example renewable energy as a sector that's down more today so that will carry a huge negative weight and if you are wondering why renewable energy is down so much as a sector then it is generally speculated or thought that as soon as mr trump comes to office day one he will reduce the spend on renewable energy the government subsidy part or government spend part to zero in nifty today nifty bank nifty these charts don't mean anything 0.2% 0.7% in today's time is nothing what matters is reliance this is where it closed yesterday open nearly where it closed 1.7% that's the largest stock in the country on the other hand infosys was totally reverse this is where probably fi is bought today chul it has been more down than up but today it was up 1.3% hdfc continuous up but icici balanced it completely down the volumes of reliance were 50% more than usual sbi also though it fell after the results the volumes were 70% more Bank Nifty only HDFC Bank was looking good today. The green zones are intact. The private banking dashboard is worse. Sea of Reds Federal Bank hit another high today. It's difficult to keep Motilal Oswal down these days. In today's market also, it was up seven percent. In fact, it was up nearly ten percent, and then it came down a bit. Look at the volumes three seventy three percent. 
it is very far off still from its 52 week high there is lot more to go bsc which was up a lot yesterday because of msci inclusion that came down 3.7% nbfc is continue to be red pfc rec 2.5% down today also i talked about set in credit yesterday the results came today somewhere around 3 o'clock it immediately hit a 52 week low down nearly 10% it's difficult to imagine what zomato will do a specific day and it is up or down by 3 4% at least every day and persistent hit another high today very early in the day mahindra and mahindra is celebrating the results 3% up tata motors results were not looking good i don't think the bad results are factored in in tata motors numbers right now defense all red and a lot of retail will have defense in their portfolios today it was sales turn to fall a lot 4.2% down hindalco hindustan zinc vedanta they seem to have stabilized for now vedanta's dividend yield is over 10 now ioc bpcl hpcl down anywhere between 2 and 1/2 to 3 and 1/2% reliance the big boy down 1.7% IOC's dividend yield is getting close to 10 and a half percent now. Premier Energy recovered a little today, but Vari Energy was down another six percent. So Zlon was down. The entire pack of Tata Power, Coal, Adani Green, Adani Power, all of them were down. Only Power Grid was up a bit. NTPC also was down 1.5 percent. Look at Coal India's dividend yield, nine and a half percent. Adani Wilmer corrected a lot today, three and a half percent. Nestle Dabur continued to be in red. That's the edible pack. The pack which was looking a bit optimistic today was the consumption pack, the non-edible one. HUL Titan both up. Page Industries up six and a half percent. Made another high. Nifty and Bank Nifty don't look that bad. The bad part was here. Nifty Energy, Next Fifty. IT is looking good because TCS did not fall. and infosys was up nearly 2% now there's a bit of confusion because some portals are publishing the data in the reverse but i am going by nsc number 3400 crore sold by fii's dis bought 1700 crores now sbi net profit rose 28% asset quality improved the stock was down 0.8% market expected better tata motors net profit falls 11% slow jlr commercial vehicle sales hit revenue there is nothing unexpected here we all know uk economy is not doing good at all we all know china is just starting to pick up now so last quarter vehicle sales would have been low only jlr has biggest markets in uk and china just because of jlr i never invest in tata motors vidanta q2 results the mining major swings back into black there was a slight dip in the overall sales number but that's because of the commodity prices vidanta hindustan zinc tata steel their sales number will depend upon the price of the commodity the margins were good no surprise in this news as well fi ownership of indian share hits 12 year low just that we know the number now it's at a 12 year low now gold still around 78000 silver still around 95000 bitcoin 76000 and us markets continued the party yesterday also Berkshire has not been given an opportunity to spend the money because stocks are going up not down so Berkshire was down 2% instead now is Mr Buffet wrong it's too early to say that today i realized one thing that ICICI's silver ETF that was falling more on bad days and going up less on good days compared to Nippon Silver so i moved the holdings from ICICI Silver ETF to Nippon Silver ETF. I also bought a bit of Vedanta and Adani Wilmer. Both of these are for trading reasons only. Today's nugget about palm oil. Actually this is just an idea you can use this philosophy to evaluate literally any commodity and its impact on stock sectors which are impacted by that commodity. So why is palm oil going up right now? Malaysian ringgit is weakening Malaysia is one of the larger producers Indonesia is the largest one there have been a lot of rains in south east asia and as a result the crops have been impacted Indonesia has already put curbs 2 years back Indonesia put the curbs after domestic shortages were reported in Indonesia labor issues are being reported in Malaysia Indonesia both this is actually a global phenomena because inflation is so high that labor is asking for more money for the same work lot of manufacturers are not willing to do that and as a result there is labor shortage 
there is heavy switching between various kinds of oil whatever is cheaper that gets preferred whatever gets expensive people look for alternatives also when commodities go up there is so much of speculation trading futures forwards so those also play a havoc with the pricing now this is an example i'm taking hul owns this brand peer soap a 1 kg pack of peers costs 680 rupees that's the mrp on amazon this contains 8 bars so each bar is approximately 125 gram let's suppose 25 percent of this soap is palm oil so about say 30 gram of palm oil is required to build this soap what is the price of palm oil in indian market right now i googled it it is approximately 100 bucks right now for one liter one kg something in that range so you can make 33 bars of this soap in about one kg or 100 rupees which means three to four rupees per soap eight soaps about 25 rupees now these are the prices of palm oil since the pandemic this was the rise two years back which created global chaos edible oil this is what happens and people try to misuse these rallies by stocking palm oil cracked so much in very little time and then it stagnated for two years now this line going up may not look significant but if you look here, this has already gone up nearly 40% from the lows. We are barely in the middle of November, just two months. Now, if you look at Adani Wilmer's price in last six months, it has actually gone nowhere. If you look at last five years, it has actually gone down 12% in five years. Now, I tried to analyze more because those graphs are not enough. This graph is Adani Wilmer. This is a palm oil company from Malaysia. I am assuming here that the palm oil company in Malaysia will represent the international palm oil prices. So this was the rally. This is where that company peaked. This is where Adani Wilmer also peaked. Now this company came down but Adani Wilmer went up. Why? Because there was no pressure to reduce the price in India. You could buy palm cheap and sell it in India expensive. This continued for nearly one year. But then I think government intervened and then Adani Wilmer's price came down. It has been stagnating since then with a downward bias. Then I thought, let me look for the largest palm oil company in the world. That was Wilmer. Adani Wilmer is part owned by Wilmer. So this blue graph is of Wilmer International. They peaked earlier, then they cooled down. And right now they and Adani group are right now trading in the similar zone. They've also not gone up. Adani Wilmer has also not gone up look at the divergence in these prices so is there any arbitrage opportunity am i missing something the boil of palm oil that has a huge impact on the industry cooking oil fast food confectionery all of them require cheap oil palm oil in india we use palm oil in other countries we use better oils so soaps and shampoos they could obviously use better oils but india accepts everything so palm oil is used in most soaps and shampoos Skincare products also use palm oil. The bigger brands or the better players, they may have been using better oils and biofuel that can also use palm oil. Now the sample stocks that could be impacted, Adani Wilmer, they are the largest importer of palm oil. They use the raw palm oil, they refine it, create products out of it. They sell it in India. They also export. For example, castor oil is one of the byproduct that is exported a lot from India. ITC snacks that contains palm oil, Mrs. Bechter's confectionery products that contain palm oil, Britannia snacks that contain palm oil, Nestle's chocolates, they require palm oil. Now you might wonder, all of these will come under cost pressure. Yes and no. This also gives an opportunity to increase their prices. The prices will go up, inflation will go up. When these prices of palm oil go down, the prices of these products will never come down. Inflation will come down only a little for you. 10% this year, 10% next year, it will become 20%. We will keep hearing 10%. Why on why? So these companies actually win because of inflation increase, significant increase in the cost price of these products. These are some more stocks. Dabur, lot of confectionery products are there. Godrej also. Patanjali also is a manufacturer of lot of products that require palm oil. In non-consumption, HUL is there. Dmart obviously sells these products, so these become costly. Dmart could get impacted. Pedialyte, Imami, PNG Hygiene, Nika manufactures and sells a lot of cosmetics. Bajaj Consumer. All these companies will get impacted in some ways, good, bad. The impact on you as a consumer is good-sized inflation coming up. Palm oil is not alone. Nearly everything else will go up. 
Note that crude also is one of the lowest levels. It will eventually go up from these levels. And your petrol diesel prices have not even come down yet. In the short term, profitability could get impacted. In the long term, profitability will improve. Now I bought Rani Wilmer because right now they would be consuming what they bought last quarter. Those were lower than what they are today. So what they will sell in this quarter will be at a high price because palm oil has become costly. They will increase their prices in India, but their raw material will not be as costly as the international prices are today. In Q4, the raw material prices will be what they are in this quarter. If you are confused, go back and look at the stock prices of 2022 for the answers. Hope this exercise was useful as a sample exercise. This is not investment advice. This is just for educational purpose. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week.